Hello there and welcome to this latest Microsoft Word tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the dictation as well as the read aloud function in Microsoft Word. The dictation is very, very useful if you have a lot of text to write and maybe you just don't like typing. Uh, in any case, dictating it to your computer microphones these days are quite good. Um, it can save you a lot of time and it's very helpful. And then reading aloud, same thing. Maybe you have a long text document and just reading off a screen is maybe not the most enjoyable experience. So you can just put on the read aloud function and Microsoft Word will go ahead and read that for you. So let's jump right in and see how we can use these two excellent tools in Microsoft Word. So to get started with the dictate, it's very simple. It's right here under the home tab. And um, we come right over here to where it says voice and just click on dictate. And now you can see that it says it's listening and everything that I am saying is coming up here in my Word document. Now, sometimes the dictation doesn't work absolutely perfectly. So it is recommended that you write no more, or should I say actually, that you dictate no more than one paragraph at a time and then go back and proofread. Full stop, especially when it comes to punctuation. You can see just there, I tried to get it to do a punctuation, but in fact, it just listened to my words. Maybe if I just try and say period, it will add a period. And it did. Uh, I think it can also recognize comma and it can also recognize question mark. I think it can also even recognize exclamation mark. And when you're finished, you just hit this little uh, microphone icon down at the bottom. So as I, as I said, I think it's pretty useful to go and reread what you have dictated because, you know, it's going to be quite accurate. I would say in the high nineties, let's say between 95 and 99% accurate but it may not just catch everything that you say absolutely perfectly. So definitely go back and reread it and add in your punctuation. Um, actually, the spoken word is quite different from the written word. So when you go back and reread it, you might say, oh, I could write that um, in a slightly different way, maybe more succinct or might uh, choose a, a different word. But in any case, this dictation tool is great for getting your ideas down there. And then you can apply your typing and your writing to actually just go back and really hone it and make it absolutely perfect. So then on the flip side, once you, uh, you, you, once you finish, you could get Microsoft Word to read it back to you, or you could even use this uh, read aloud tool to uh, get Word to read very long documents to you, which, you know, it's not always fun to read a document uh, from a screen. So let's have a look at that. It's very simple. I'm going to place the cursor from where I want Word to start reading the text from. So I want it to start reading right from the beginning and I'm going to click on review. And then from review, I have this speech option, read aloud. And as and I just... now you can see that it says it's listening and... So it sounds a little bit like uh, word is slurring her speech there a little bit or she's going extremely slowly. So we can actually control the, the, the speed of the speech there in Word. So let's go and see how we can do that. So back here in Word, just if I click on this speaker with a cog on it for the settings, we have this speed dial right here. So somewhere around the middle is usually kind of natural. So you can see there, if you put it very fast, it's, it, it's almost, nah, it's quite difficult to understand it. Um, I would say, you know, the fastest might be around three quarters speed. Let's see that. Even three quarters is, is pretty hard to understand. Let's say two thirds. Try and say. It will have. 
And if you might think it can also recognize, and it can also recognize. Yeah, so if you're trying to power your way through a document and get it read as quickly as possible, I'd recommend no faster than maybe about 60% on that dial. Uh, but, you know, for the most natural, somewhere around uh, halfway or slightly less is going to sound most natural. So if you're not in a major rush, maybe put it around halfway. You can also change the voices. So if we go back over here and go to the cog, I can have Linda read it to me or I can have Richard. So let's just change it to Richard. I think it can also even recognize. Okay. So, and wherever I put my cursor and then hit play. I say actually that you can take no more than one paragraph at a time and then go back and proofread. Especially. Uh, the voice will start reading from there. So there you have it. That's how uh, to both dictate some text and also how to use the uh, read aloud function in Microsoft Word to get Word to read documents to you. So I hope you found this video helpful, this little tutorial. If you did find it helpful as ever, please do give it uh, a like, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell button. Uh, the best thing really that I would love if you could do is leave a comment down there. Uh, how have you used uh, the dictation or the read aloud function? Did you know that these things existed? And have you come across any other really interesting tools or functionality in Word uh, that you find very helpful? Or maybe uh, do you have a request for a tutorial video? Is there something that you would like to know how to do with uh, Microsoft Word. Please do leave a comment down there uh, below this video. And you can also follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'll post links down below in the description as well so that you can get notifications of these videos as well if those are your preferred social media. But of course, as I say, hit the like, share, subscribe, and you'll get notifications here on YouTube as well. Okay, thank you, dear YouTuber, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.